play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Lawrence will throw. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Credit the sack to Von Miller. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Here's Lawrence. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Well, partner, guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tuck rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So here come the Bills on offense for the first time. It's Josh Allen that'll be orchestrating the offense, a 6'5 quarterback from Wyoming. If you ask coaches at any level to design their ideal leader of a team, I think they're going to check every box with this guy. He's got the poise to handle responsibility. He stays calm under any kind of pressure, and he brings out the best of his teammates each and every week. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 right at the 30. Throwing to start the drive. Allen, he'll dump this off to Cook. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play, a one-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. Short completion, just four yards, and third and one now. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Allen looks to throw on third and one. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. So now on fourth down, Sam Martin on to punt for Buffalo. So a change of possession here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. So time to see Jacksonville again on offense for the second time here in this game. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. start on the ground here on first down and nothing doing he's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage no gain on the play there second down 
And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Second and 10. Now Lawrence. They'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. Now a second and 10. Running out of the gun with ETN. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling them in the huddle right now. Third and two. Duvernay in motion. Third and two, now Lawrence. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. I think the punter might start to get into a pretty good rhythm here if he keeps getting opportunities, but that's the last thing his team wants to have happen, right? The last thing you want to see is your punter feeling pretty good because he's out there all the time. Yeah, first quarter only, but they're 0 for 2 on third down conversions to start this thing. A cook now on to punt as he gets this one away. And a nice special teams job here. This is going to be down inside the 10 at the 7-yard line. Absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air, and that allows their punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? They start the drive with Cook, and he's up past the 10 to about the 12. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Second and five. Again, it's Cook. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. That good for 19 at a first down. That's a very nice game there, a confidence-building run. Love the execution up front, and the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Allen now looks to throw. Quick slant to Valdez Scantling. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route. 
and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Up the middle, it's Cook. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. On second down, here's Allen. Shakir holds it in, and he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. On first down, Allen. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Here's Allen to throw it. Working the middle here. That's complete to Knox, the tight end. And the Bills are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Here we go now on first and goal. Throwing now is Allen. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Brought down by Trayvon Walker on the pass rush. On any first and goal, the real estate to work with for the offense is really cut down, and the defense knows it. So they often bring heat and pressure, which they did on this play. Got him down for a loss. Not a big one, but any loss of yardage in this position is tough for an offense. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Cook up the gut. And here he'll get it down to the 7. It'll be a gain of 4, but it'll bring us now to a third and goal. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here. Not even a thought, yeah, is it? defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. Allen now on third and goal. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run, and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with this fourth down call. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. This a chip shot, a 20-yarder. The kick by Bass is good, and the Bills will take a 3-0 lead. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move.
So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. Here comes Johnson on the return. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. They've had it twice. They punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. Lawrence. Open man is Duvernay. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. ETN up the middle, and he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. They suspected it. it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. From a couple of yards beyond midfield, here's second and eight. Now Lawrence to throw. He'll get this off to ETN, and he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. They'll give him four yards there, and they're going to face a third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he is going to have a Jags first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Back to the ground with ETN. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. Uh, he lost six there on the first down play. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. Tough spot looking at second and 16 here after the big loss. On play action, Lawrence completes it to Evan Ingram. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. Seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield. They're understanding the coverages and they're finding the open holes in the defense. Lawrence on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 21. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Well, we use the term pitch and catch a lot to denote an easy completion. We just saw one right there on third and three to pick up the first down. Why are those so tough to defend? Just because they hit so quickly? Yeah, it's all about timing 
and confidence. Quarterback sees it, rips it. There you go. Straight ahead, ETN. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Up from his linebacker spot, Deion Jones making the play. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Here's a second and five. Another toad for ETN, and he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. They'll look to make it three for three on third down conversions. They need a yard here. Here's Lawrence to throw. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Deion Jones, the linebacker. And the Bills are going to have it here as they'll start at their own seven. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game, and that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. James Cook running back out now. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Second and seven. Mark six, 33. 33. To throw, it's Allen. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Antonio Johnson. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I, I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they were in standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through with a big-time pick six. Riley Patterson now for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Bills offense coming out, ready to take over. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. 
Beginning this series with a handoff to Cook. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Allen. Samuel bringing in the slant. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll try the middle with Cook, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Valdez Scantling in motion left. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 69 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 41. Here's Cook again. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Two yards to go, second down. Now Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And Knox is going to have a Bills first down as he'll be brought down at the 27. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. It's a gain of 13 and a Buffalo first down. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right at them and right up the middle. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Allen going to throw. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And the Bills are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Looking to throw. Allen. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Marquez Valdez Scantling from four yards out. And the Bills are once again back in front. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening, but they found the opening and exploited it. The Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. 
That time, a nine-play drive. And it culminates in a Bills touchdown. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Johnson won't return this, and the football will come out to the 25. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. In a close game like this, Charles, those interceptions like they had on the last drive could be costly, but here they've got another opportunity to seize control of this game. And they'd better take advantage of it because otherwise, if they end up losing by one score, they'll relive this over and over and over until they have another opportunity to wipe it away. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mouse trap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. That's good, the completion there for seven yards and it'll be second down. Not a big window to throw, coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. On second down, here's Lawrence. Dancing to his left. Lawrence hit and the ball is free. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And they will finally stop him as he's down to the 40-yard line. Had some good yardage there, too, before he fumbled that football, Charles. Yeah, just think about it this way. Running backs, as a general rule, they kind of know when the end of a run is near, and you notice how they cover up, right? They protect the football. Sometimes quarterbacks forget that out in the open field. After a while, you start to wonder, does the running back coach visit the quarterback coach and say, hey, I can help you with this. We can protect this and make sure we keep the ball. Here's Allen following the fumble recovery. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. Operating from the gun. Allen flushed to his right. Oh, some strong running. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Usually see those guys out wide get called for holding on running plays here, a passing play. Yeah, sometimes when you get this quick screen, bubble screen, anything where they're having a block for their fellow receiver, usually at the point of attack, and this time he got caught. Right. 
Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. This is Chase Claypool on the receiving end. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Throwing on first down is Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. That's just a 35-yard attempt from the left hash. The kick by Bass is good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So able to add on to their first half lead here, Charles, forcing the miscue with a fumble and then turning that into three points. Yeah, and more than happy to accept any mistakes the other side is willing to make. No problem. You turn it over, we'll take that, and we'll use it to expand our lead. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. They were trying to create some space to run. They created the penalty. And you work on it so much. You work on it so hard. But it's tough to simulate game speed in practice. And that often runs you into a penalty. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. So we have reached halftime in what's a six-point game at the break. As we now go downstate to Orlando and check in with Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point, and you got to expect we'll see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way, let's get it right back out to Brandon Guy. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Bills with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Out come the Bills now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Throwing to start the drive. Allen, that's to Cook out of the backfield. 
And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. From the 29, here's second and three. From the pistol, they run it with Cook. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Sometimes I get almost mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, those eyes that carry their feet to open spaces, make people miss. I just love watching those guys go to work. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. Nice run defense presented there. And what I mean by that is discipline. The guys filling the right gaps in the right holes. No one over pursuing and making a very nice play. Now second and nine. Now Allen. Throwing middle and it's complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Operating from the gun, Allen. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Devon Hamilton able to collapse the pocket, get to him, and drop him for a loss of a yard. Well, he was really focused downfield, but there was really no viable options. The coverage was too good. And the defense really quickened the tempo of that play with their pass rush because there was nowhere for him to go with the football. The only place he ended up, down on the ground. The sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. Getting the ball is Cook running left. And he'll be brought down right on the 50. A gain of three. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Now Cook, he's got it off the draw. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. Here's Sam Martin now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. He'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. Here comes the Jags offense now. Time for their first possession of half number two. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. On first down, Lawrence. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Fred, on 
Here's second and ten. From the gun, it's Lawrence. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. That's Gregory Rousseau getting in there to bring him down. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. So now after the sack of Lawrence, the Jags looking at a third and long. Out of the gun now on third down. Over the middle, he's got his tight end, Ingram. A gain of eight there on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. That pattern and scheme was well defensed on third down. He tried to just sprint from one side of the field to the other, and they got it to him quickly. But no chance at yards after the catch there, and they stop him short. Here's Logan Cook now, as he's on to punt for Jacksonville. It'll be a 39-yard punt, give him a good 10 yards on the return, and out will come the offense as they take over. But James Cook in the Buffalo offense returning to work now. He is knocking on the door for 100 yards in this ball game. And it's so important. It doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal. Just short of it, a little bit over. A little bit over feels better to everyone. Offensive line, running back, team totals. Just something magical about breaking that barrier. Now he's right there on the doorstep now. So good field position for the Bills as they come up first and 10 at their 38. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon. And I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second down and two. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook, and he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. From midfield, here's Allen. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. to the air, Allen. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. Well, someone's been having a good game so far. And you know something? A lot of has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. The first down carry here for Johnson. 
And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. Second and nine. And now they'll throw with Allen. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available in incompletion as a result. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Has his man, it's Shakir. And a good tackle there right around the 30. Stops him short of the first down. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. The kick by Bass is good. And now it's a two-score game at 9, 16-7. So the lead grows here incrementally, but I think the way their defense is playing, you feel okay with just getting three. They've definitely been stout so far, but now that can all change because if one guy gets loose for 70 yards, this is a different game. But as it stands, field goals are good. Just keep adding to that lead. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. Johnson won't return this, and the football will come out to the 25. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. A second and ten forthcoming here. Third quarter action from Jacksonville. Here's Lawrence. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. At this point in the game, in the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Out of the gun, it's Lawrence. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubt for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on a keeper the moment it revealed itself. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 47. Here's a give to ETN, and he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. 
Now Lawrence. A short throw to Ingram. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll try the left side with ETN. Taken down at the 30. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Here's second and seven. Now Lawrence. Quick slant caught by Kirk. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 19. Three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Jacksonville. It's Jaguar football, but a little work to do for them. They trail here as we start the fourth. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Draw play, ETN. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Here's a second and eight. I don't think you got it, son. Where's 52? Watch 52. 52. Lawrence will throw. Finds his tight end, Ingram. It'll go down as a gain of six. And now we've got a third down and three. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. The Jaguars on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This time it's third and three. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And the Jags are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there and for the offense. They're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. Looking to throw, Lawrence. Got his man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Christian Kirk on the receiving end of that touchdown pass from Trevor Lawrence. And the Jaguars have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter.
after the touchdown. Cook now to kick this one away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. That last touchdown has made this really tight. They're clinging now to this slim lead. What, the, geez, the second half, they only have a field goal. This offense needs to kick it into gear. And right now, I'm looking directly at the field general, at the quarterback, because to me, he's got to take over right now by word, pumping his team up, and then, of course, by deed with his play. My high school coach used to say that all the time. Laddie, take over by word and deed. And deed means action. Exactly. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen, little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, just, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apology. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. A give up the middle to Johnson. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from, or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. Now second and five. On play action, Allen. That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez-Scantling. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 25-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. First down. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Second down, Johnson. And he is close to a first down as he's tackled at the Jaguars 16. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Allen now looks to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And the Bills are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. 
He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Here's Allen. This is caught. Touchdown. Dawson Knox, a touchdown grab from Josh Allen. And the Bills get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. So a heck of a drive right there with the game potentially hanging in the balance. A very good drive and now conversion to make it a two-score game and a solid lead. Bass on for the extra point. And that makes it a nine-point game. So a nice drive put together there. They go 75 yards in nine plays. And it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Johnson won't return this, and the football will come out to the 25. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He'll get this out to the flat for ETN. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. A good start there on this fourth quarter drive. They need more of what we just saw. Down a couple of scores. There's still time. All right. It's not like, you know, they're totally out of it, but they have to score quickly and they're going to need some big time plays, chunk plays, explosive plays. They need yardage on each snap. Lawrence. And that's complete ETN out of the backfield. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. So the completion good for just three. And now one yard to go on third down. They'll run with ETN. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. 57 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. The job one to pick up the first down is complete. That was a big third down conversion, but they got to watch the clock. It's starting to become their enemy a bit here in a two-score game. Which means they have to pick up the pace, right? The tempo has to be upped. And what they do is they tell the quarterback in his, in his helmet, hey, listen, when we pick up the first down here, tell everyone we're going. We're moving now to two-minute offensive phase, and everyone on the bench area, they're waving them along too. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Now Lawrence on first down into space at the 45. And he takes it across the 50 to the 46-yard line. A 14-yard first down pickup for the Jaguars. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, 
he's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit, and that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 46. They go play action now. Lawrence, he targets Ingram for another grab. And he's taken down inside the 30. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's four for four now, and that throw may be the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Back to the ground with ETN. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. They'll come up now, second and nine. From the shotgun, Lawrence. This one caught by Davis. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Of course, remember, you need a touchdown here and a field goal. Doesn't matter the order, but they have to get it done and get it done fast. Here's first down. Where's 52? Watch 52. 52. Here's Lawrence. That's complete right around the eight. And the Jaguars are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense, and he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back and you end up getting the first down. Rush in, rush in. Throwing now, Lawrence. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah. Yeah, you know. It doesn't you kinda, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So with exactly a minute to play, here comes a critical onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the Bills, and that should all but do it. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it they do actually recover the ball which is what we saw here i just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number kind of like when the coaches tell us well when you score on special teams 93 percent of the time you win the game i'm still waiting to see that number is empirical Got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Now a timeout called for by the defense 
as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Here's second and five now from the 37. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he will have a Bills first down, and that should be that. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. The Bills on their way to victory now as they take the knee. The Jaguars now will use the last of their timeouts. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. And they will take a knee here. Allen down to a knee, and that should just about do it. in this one, Charles. You know, this group, they come in, they have to fight a hostile atmosphere every snap. They get the late score, they get the victory, and that flight home, it's going to be a little sweeter after this one. And Brandon, just like you, I was fired up for that last sequence. How about that? Wouldn't you have loved to have been in the huddle when they were mounting that game-winning drive? Big-time moment. No one shied away from it. They tuned out the crowd, kept their heads, and executed the way they needed to to earn that win. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we sign off from Jacksonville.